If it wasn't already obvious I'm working on a definitive Mario timeline, it is now. However, before I can do that, I need to perform the arguably just as difficult task of explaining the geography of the series. Now when discussing any sort of timeline, there's always the big question. What's canon? For the sake of including as much as I can without going overboard, I'm including the main series of course, Luigi's Mansion, Captain Toad, Mario and Luigi, Paper Mario, and the first Yoshi's Island. Only the first one. Everything I didn't mention won't be included, and because I'm going to list them anyway, that means no Mario Kart, Mario Party, Mario Sports, Super Mario RPG, or any of Wario's series. Let's start with the easy ones first. Super Mario Bros. 2 takes place in Mario's dream. Super Mario Galaxy and Galaxy 2 both take place in space for the most part. Super Mario 3D World takes place in the Sprixie Kingdom. The Sprixie Kingdom is definitely an alternate dimension, you can't convince me otherwise. Same with Lake Lap Cat for Bowser's Fury. Many different games will all give you different locations and interpretations of Peach's Castle, so I think it's important to go over this before any other individual games. If the area you're given to explore in Mario 64, Galaxy 1, and Galaxy 2 looks like this, and in Mario Odyssey looks like this, then at first glance this series has huge consistency issues. And you'd be right, it does. So much is either inconsistent or left up to interpretation, and that's why no one's timeline will be correct or definitive. It's so simple that it's incredibly complicated, if that makes any sense. But I do think the Peach's Castle thing can be explained. I'm trying not to get this too theoretical here, but what if Princess Peach owns multiple castles? That would explain everything, wouldn't it? For example, it would explain why 1-1 in most new Super Mario Bros. games is different every time despite being right next to Peach's Castle. Super Mario is not and never has been the type of series to revisit locations, so every time a location is not specified to be outside of the Mushroom Kingdom, we'll assume it's in the Mushroom Kingdom. All the locations in the following games fall under this category. Super Mario Bros, Super Mario 64, Every Luigi's Mansion, Every New Super Mario Bros, Super Mario 3D Land, Captain Toad Treasure Tracker, Mario and Luigi Partners in Time, Mario and Luigi Bowser's Inside Story, and Mario and Luigi Paper Jam. The same rules apply to the Paper Mario series. These are two different Toad Towns. I should also mention the entire world of Paper Mario is contained within a book in one of Peach's many castles specifically the one in Mario & Luigi Paper Jam. Next, let's go over Super Mario Odyssey, because it's probably the single most relevant game in this entire discussion. Super Mario Odyssey finally reveals what the planet looks like. There are a few continents with some kingdoms on them. The Mushroom Kingdom is a continent of its own, and it's small enough to be an island, much like Australia. This is very odd, because the Mushroom Kingdom easily has the most diverse climate compared to every other kingdom on the planet, despite being one of the smallest kingdoms. But I guess every location we've seen so far is technically small enough to fit on this one island, so it still works. For the sake of simplicity, all our remaining locations will surround the Mushroom Kingdom, as most of them are small islands. Super Mario Bros. 3 could go one of two directions. Either it's an archipelago ruled by seven kings off the coast of the Mushroom Kingdom, or it's just a stage play. I mean, if you really want to believe the latter, go ahead. Dinosaur Land from Super Mario World is another archipelago off the coast of the Mushroom Kingdom. Yoshi's Island, Isle Delfino from Super Mario Sunshine, and Pillow Island from Mario & Luigi Dream Team are all islands off the coast of the Mushroom Kingdom. Look, I have no idea how you're supposed to pronounce this, so I'm just going to say Pillow Island until I'm told the correct pronunciation. And finally, the Bean Bean Kingdom from Mario & Luigi Superstar Saga. What sets the Bean Bean Kingdom apart from every other kingdom? Well, it's actually connected to the Mushroom Kingdom by land. Also, it's extremely small. Think about the size of Rhode Island compared to the rest of the continental United States. The Bean Bean Kingdom is not landlocked, which confuses things a lot. The ocean is to the east, but the Mushroom Kingdom border is also to the east. Luckily, I have an explanation for this. The border is technically to the northeast, and because the landmass both kingdoms are on is shaped like a mushroom, we can officially say the Bean Bean Kingdom is right here on the world map. All of this will likely be outdated within the next year or two, depending on when the next Mario game releases. It's a nice thing to keep in mind. Making a cohesive timeline is a big project, so don't expect to see it anytime soon, but it definitely will happen next year. Thanks for watching.